Hello everyone, my name is Maddie, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video which is going to be my Readathon 24 hour Readathon vlog. So, Raidathon. It is currently 8 p.m. on Friday. Raidathon starts at midnight, so I am just doing a quick opening vlog clip now because I'm about to go have a nap. And just in case I don't wake up before midnight, I thought I'd kick the vlog off now. I I'm attempting to stay awake for pretty much the whole thing. I may have to sleep a little bit, like naps in the middle of the day, because I doubt I'll manage to stay awake. But I thought I would quickly run you through my reading plans if I can get it out of my book sleeve. Got it. Okay, so reading plans for the day. This, A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth. This is 503 pages and it's chunky. It's really quite chunky. There is a lot on a page. And this wasn't my original plan for Raidathon. My original plan was to like read loads of YA contemporaries and have a really nice chill day and read loads. But this has to be read by next Saturday and I know I've got a busy week and I know what books I need to read next week. And this is, does not make that list. So it needs to be read this weekend meaning tomorrow. The hope is to read the whole thing. I do also have a couple other books I'll talk about in a second for if I finish this early, but honestly, I don't even know if I'll get through the whole thing. I'm really hoping I will, but it is a lot to read in one day. I have just finished doing some sprints for Patreon, some data attack sprints, and actually a couple people said they listened to this on audio whilst reading along, and it really helped them get through it. So I'm considering trying that. I've never listened to an audiobook whilst reading physically, so I might try the first like 10 pages physically, see how I'm getting on. And then I might try the audiobook. I don't know yet. It's definitely a consideration. Um, I have Audible and I have a credit, so I can do. We will see. So that's, that's the core of the plans. But then if by some miracle I finish that with time to spare, I'm going to read Watch Over Me by Nina LaCour. I may actually read this anyway. It's really, really, really short and there's not a lot of text on a page. So I may use this to like intersperse in to my day to keep me going. And so that would be the hope. That would be my main hope is to finish both of these, but that is a lot of reading for one day. And then on top of that, if I had the time, I would love to read Perfect on Paper. This was originally on my like YA Contemporary Day TBR. So that would be great. And I do also have Saga Volume 6, which I need to read. So if I feel like I need to zone out and read a graphic novel for a bit, I may do that. Those are the plans. I'm going to go to bed for a bit and see you again, hopefully around about midnight, assuming I wake up in time. I will imagine I'll read in bed for at least the first few hours because it's just nice and chill, isn't it? And that's it, that's the plan. I'm really excited for this. I'm having today off to like prepare for it. I've not like been doing preparation, but just, you know, to chill and have kind of a day has been great. So I feel like I'm like mentally ready for a big day of reading. I feel like I've been wanting a big day of reading for a while. I've not had time all week and then I've been reading a book I didn't love. So hopefully this will really get me going and get me back into my reading. The only other thing I like have to get done tomorrow is my wrap up. I need to finish getting that done. It's like 99% edited. I have like 20 minutes more work to do on it plus thumbnail. So I probably need to carve out about an hour tomorrow to get that finished. I could do it right now, but I don't feel like it. So not too bad, can definitely get that done. But for now I'm gonna go to bed. So I'll see you all in a few hours, hopefully, for fingers crossed a hell of a lot of reading. Hello, so it is very much time for an update. It is actually quarter past 10. Um, I, yes, lots to update you on, let's do this. So as you know, my plan was to go to sleep at like eight, nine and sleep till 12 and then start reading. I could not get to sleep. I laid there with my eyes closed and finally fell asleep at half past 11. So unsurprisingly, didn't wake up to my alarm at 12. Um, I woke up at about three, a little bit before, which worked out very well because Jade and Gav did some sprints from three till like half past four. So I read in those sprints and I managed about 50 pages, which isn't too bad. And then went back to sleep. I was too tired and woke up again at around seven-ish is I think when I ended up getting up. Uh, I said it's now 10. I've made some good progress in that time. I'm on page 150 for the last, I don't know, seven-ish or eight-ish? I don't remember. Okay, so I woke up just before eight actually, in fact. Um, but since then, in the last two and a bit hours, I've got to page 150 of this. So good progress is being made. I am managing when I'm really focusing about 50 pages an hour of this, which is not half bad. It's not as slow as I thought it was going to be. A lot of people said it's really slow and like hard to get through. I'm not finding that at all. Maybe partially because I'm reading it very like intensely, 
But yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm really loving the characters. There are a lot of characters to get your heads around. I'm trying really hard to only focus on the perspective characters because there are so many side characters and I can't keep them all straight. So I'm just trying to focus on like the main ones. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with my progress so far. Like that is not half bad for a morning of reading. So I'm pretty happy. I definitely want to get to halfway before having any form of decent break or switching book. But I'm definitely confident I can get this done today. I'm hoping to get to halfway not long after midday, considering, as I said, it's just past 10. I'm doing about 50 pages an hour, got 100 pages to midway. So I'm going to spend the next hour doing some like intense reading, get to page 200-ish. Then I might put some food in the oven because I'm quite hungry. Um, I did obviously take like a 15 minute break just now to like get up and do face of makeup and stuff to make me feel more awake and more alive and feel up to vlogging. My skin's being dodgy at the moment and so it makes me feel less comfortable vlogging. So I was like, I'll just wake up and do a full face of makeup, then I'll vlog. Because that's why I've not updated you so far. I've been in bed with bad skin. I was like, I don't wanna. I'm just gonna read in bed instead. So that's where we're at. And at 12 is Jade's sprints. At some point I need to get my wrap up done. But we're going well. Pretty confident I can get Dark and Hollow Star finished. I think there's a chance I can do something else as well. We'll see how it goes though. I may well struggle as the day goes on, but for now, feeling pretty good. So I just realized I completely forgot to do my midday update. It is now quarter to one, 20 to one. I don't know why I forgot to do it, but I did reach the halfway point just around midday, which I'm really happy with. Look at that, look at all that progress. So I should definitely be on track to finish this. I'm just getting my video ready. It's just exporting to be uploaded and then I'm eating dinner as well, lunch. I've just finished cooking lunch. So that's all I'm doing between 12 and one. I'm hoping in the next 20 minutes I can get everything that needs doing done so I can get back to reading at one. Hopefully finish this around about six. I don't know, something like that is the hope so that I can maybe fit in um, Watch Over Me as well, which should only be like a three or four hour read. So it's, it's possible, it's definitely possible. Um, I just need to get a shifty on with this and I can't have like any big reading gaps at all. I literally just need to read solidly, but I'm determined, I'm gonna keep going. I am enjoying it, it's very interesting. I am slightly struggling to follow it. It's very detail heavy, slightly overly complicated, I feel like, um, but I'm gonna keep going and I'm intrigued to see where it goes. So that's the very brief update because my food's getting cold and I wanna go eat it. Hello, update. Not read that much since I last spoke to you. I'm now on page 300, so I've got 200 pages left. Definitely well past halfway. It is currently 20 to four, so I should still be fine to finish that. I can read about 50 pages in an hour, so I need about four more hours on that one, but I'm switching out for a bit. Um, I'm getting bored of it. I'm skimming it more and more because I'm tired of reading the same thing for so long. So I'm gonna read Saga Volume 6 because this is on my TBR for April. And then I may well read Skyward Volume 2 as well because I have it. I may do this, I may do Skyward 7, I might just do Skyward 6, we will see. But gonna spend the next like 20 minutes, half hour, hour, I never know how long graphic novels take me, but bombing through this to feel, you know, a sense of accomplishment as well as just, you know, getting through it. Change it up for a bit, get my mind on something else. And then I'll see how I feel after this, maybe try and do like this, then another hundred pages of this, then I might like start Watch Over Me, then go back to finishing Dark and Hollow Star. Not completely sure, but that's, you know, kind of the plan. So I'm gonna go get on with this and I'll let you know how it's going. Okay, I'm not sure how well you're gonna be able to see me in this lighting if I kind of sit in front of it. I don't, mm. that's better. Okay, the lighting's so pretty at this time of day, but it's a nightmare for filming. So it's quite a few hours later. It's just hit seven o'clock. I did have a two and a bit hour break from reading. I had some dinner and I also FaceTimed my friend for two hours. Wasn't planned, but things happen. I did read Saga volume six. I am getting so into the series. And I was like, it's fine, I'll read volume seven. I don't own volume seven. So I have just ordered seven, eight and nine to arrive tomorrow because I need to continue with the series. It is getting so good. And I'm so intrigued to see how the rest of it is gonna go. So yes, loved this, very glad to have read it. And then I have gone back to A Dark and Hollow Star. I've just hit page 360, 140 to go. I've got this, I've got five hours, like three hours of reading left of this. I would love to read this as well, but I doubt I can do it in two hours, but, but I'm thinking I may extend Raidathon a little bit because like I started late, I started at 3 a.m. I'm not gonna stay up all the way to 3 a.m. but like I could stay up till like one or two. 
we'll see how I'm feeling. But for now, I need to carry on with this. I am enjoying this. It's just, there is a lot going on. There is a lot going on for a first book in a series. Possibly a bit too much, if I'm honest. I don't know. I'm not loving it as much as I hoped I would. It's good. Um, I feel like there's a lot of unnecessary characters, which may well be necessary in later books in the series, but not sure they were necessary in this first one. But anyway, I'm going to go try and finish this. I may not speak to you again before this is done. And then we'll see what else we can cram into the rest of today. I did it. I finished A Dark and Hollow Star. It is 10 minutes to 10, so I technically finished it ahead of schedule. Um, I have 10 minutes before I wanted to get this done at 10. I mean, I wanted to get it done at like 6, but we're here. I don't know how I feel about this. I really don't. I'm very intrigued for the live show um, this coming Saturday to see what other people thought, because I really don't know how I feel about this whole mix of feelings because I loved the characters but I feel like the plot left a lot to be desired so I don't know mixed feelings no I don't know what I'm gonna rate it we'll figure that out another day anyway there are two hours left to raid a farm do I think I can read the whole of this almost certainly not because it's 200 plus pages although there's really not a lot of writing on a page they're very small pages but I'm going to make a start and see how far I can get and then probably just stay up until I finish it even if that's like half 12 I kind of want to try and read, do I have it here? Yes. I kind of want to try and read this too, but I feel like that's just pushing my luck. Like if I'm starting something after midnight, then that's kind of not the point. And if I get through this, I'll have read three books. So I can't really complain at that. So this is now my focus. There's going to be a very quick update because I want to get straight on with this. I'll do a proper wrap of all the books tomorrow anyway. But yes, got two hours and eight minutes. Let's see how far through this one I can get. It is... Oh, okay. I was going to say it's 11.59. It is literally just turned midnight. And I just finished this book. Talk about getting in at the last minute. I literally finished, looked at my phone, turned my camera on, and it's flicked over to midnight. I don't feel like I have coherent thoughts on this tonight. My eyes are barely <laughs> open. It's been a big day of reading but I really enjoyed this. I have no idea how I'm going to rate this. It was good, but I don't know how to assess it. This is gonna take some thinking and that thinking is not happening right now. I'm basically gonna go to bed and I'll do a wrap up clip tomorrow. But very, very quickly, I today read Saga Volume 6, A Dark and Hollow Star by Ashley Shuttleworth and to Watch Over by Nina LaCour which I think is a grand total of about 900 pages because that's just over 500, that's 260 and that's about 120, 140, I think. I never know how much graphic novels are because I don't have page numbers. So pretty decent day of reading. Can't really complain about that. Oh my God, I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm gonna go straight to bed. I've been here like, why am I so tired? It's only midnight. I don't normally like get that tired by midnight. I do normally sleep at around 11, but midnight's therefore not that late. I forget, I did not get much good sleep last night. I probably got about five hours decent sleep, if that. So that'd be why I'm tired. So I'm going to go to bed and I will update you all tomorrow with a proper wrap up, my proper thoughts and everything when hopefully I've actually got some thoughts. But I did it really last minute. But I did it. Okay, hello everyone. It is the next day. I'm feeling significantly more alive than I was last night. Currently on my Sunday sprints, but I thought I would wrap up this vlog. I don't feel like I have a lot of footage, but it is what it is. And so I'm gonna quickly run through the books I read and thoughts on them. Maybe ratings, I'm still struggling to rate some of them, but we'll go through it. And then this vlog will be done. So first book I read was Saga Volume 6, or at least it's the first book I finished. Four stars, I love this series. This is an adult sci-fi graphic novel series. It's graphic, it's dark, it's brilliant. I have literally ordered the next three volumes to arrive today because I wanna read them so bad. This has got me so into this series again. I love it, it's brilliant. Everyone recommends this series and for very good reason. Next, I read A Dark and Hollow Star, which is the Phasing Games book club pick for March. The live show is on the 10th of April if you want to join us in watching that. So it's this coming Saturday when you're seeing this video. I really enjoyed this. Um, but I think there's a lot to critique in this. I'm very excited for the live show because I feel like there's gonna be a lot to discuss. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna rate this. It's either like 
a four, maybe dropping to a 3.5. Loved the four main characters. They were great. Their relationships were great. Really interesting. Felt like there was a lot of unnecessary detail, a lot of unnecessary plot. I felt like it was longer than it needed to be, but also they needed more explanation for things. I don't know. I feel like the detail was put in the wrong places. There were so many extra characters. I couldn't follow them all. Like you have your core four and you have like a couple villains, but then there were at least 15 other important characters and I just, it was too much to keep track of for me. And I didn't feel like they were actually necessary nor added anything. So not my favorite, but it wasn't bad. Just kind of a bit of a meh book. Maybe it wasn't suited to reading it all in one day. I don't know, but I'm glad I got through it. Um, I'm really impressed with myself that I got through it because this is it's not a quick read. There's a decent bit on a page. Of course, I show you like the most sparsely depopulated page, loads of dialogue. But you know, it's a pretty chunky book. It's over 500 pages. So reading this in a day, I am thrilled with. And then finally, right at the end, you saw me cram in Watch Over Me by Nina Lacour. I also don't have a rating for this one because I don't know how to rate it. It's probably gonna come in as a four because it definitely deserves a four, but it didn't like impact me in a way that would make it a five. So I think it's probably gonna come in at around four. This was really good. I didn't know what to expect going into this because in terms of synopsis, what I'd heard people say never made any sense to me and the blurb didn't make any sense to me. But this is basically following a girl called Mila who is in the foster care system and she's aging out. And so she gets a job as a school teacher in this like really remote place and kind of goes to live with them. And they're all kids who've been in the foster care system and it's kind of creepy and there's ghosts and hauntings and all sorts going on, honestly. And this was definitely creepy. Um, I'm very easily creeped out, I will admit, but this definitely like slightly eked me out, but in a good way kept me kind of feeling quite tense, which I actually quite enjoyed. It was very well written, really interesting story, really like heart wrenching, hearing what had happened to me and what her life had been like, and also some like other kids and their experience with foster care and like their life before foster care and all of this. So it was definitely interesting. I can't decide, I don't know if this is a spoiler, I don't know whether to see it, but basically I won't say anything specific. I can't decide how I feel about the end of this book. I can't decide if it's good or bad, I don't know. Um, like not as in like it was a bad ending, but just whether the result is what I would have wanted it to be or not. I'm really not sure how I feel. It still left me feeling quite like antsy. I just, I'm just like, ooh, I don't know. Do I trust? Oh, I don't know. So definitely an interesting read. So those are the three books I read, totaled up at I think about 915 pages. I'll put up here a little graphic that someone made, which is really cool. He's P Reads on Instagram. She made this graphic for tracking the day, which I filled in like every hour or so. So I'll put that up there to show you my day. Um, I think just counting on there that I was like reading for 14 and a bit hours. I wasn't reading for all of that, though possibly not far off because this probably took me almost 10 hours. This took me just over two hours and this took like half an hour to an hour. So it probably was about 13 hours of reading. Um, obviously in those 14 and a half hours, I'll have had 10 minute breaks on my phone and this and that. So that's why it's a bit bigger, but that's Raidathon. As always, thank you so much to Jade for hosting this. I always have a great time doing 24 hour readathons and Jade doing Raidathon regularly. It's just my favorite thing. So thank you to her so much for hosting this. I had a fabulous time. And that's it for the video though. So if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below. Did you take part in Raidathon? Did you have a good time? Just how is your reading been going in April so far? Let me know. Subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me. Links to all of my other social media as well as book clubs and read alongs that I host are linked down below in the description if you want to check out any of those as are my wishlist and my Patreon. But that is it for this video. So bye and I'll see you in the next one.